Yes, guys. With just days left until the new game drops, I'm here to keep producing content to get you off to the strongest start possible. As you know, EA recently released the full database for the new game. Now we know which players are in what positions and what playstyles they have. I've dug deep into this database to find some hidden gems for you. Before we dive into the players, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Todibo. This card is rated 80, which means it's bound to be affordable. With his speed and defensive stats, plus the silver playstyles like Long Ball, Jockey and Anticipate, he's a great option. At the start of the game, plus playstyles are very rare, so these silver ones will be valuable and get the job done. His links are also quite useful, so I believe he'll be super helpful early on. Araujo. This is definitely going to be an expensive card, and I don't expect it to be cheap. But this card comes with some very valuable playstyles, which is crucial for defenders. For example, Jockey helps you position well against wide players. My advice is to get him into your squad early on, because he'll be useful for a long time. Nico Williams. Honestly, I didn't think this card would go above 60,000, but now it looks like it might reach 100,000. The key factor here is the new player role feature, and as you can see, he has inside forward plus plus. This means he's one of the best at playing this role. Even if his finishing isn't top-notch, his new card will be one that everyone wants, especially with playstyles like Relentless, Travailer, Finesse, Quickstep and Rapid Plus. I think we all know what this means. This is the card that will be in everyone's squad and will drive us crazy. Marquinhos. This card looks almost the same as last year, but the ball-playing defender plus plus feature makes him stand out. What does this mean? When you have possession, this player will step forward and provide a passing option. The key point here is that, unlike last year when League One was valuable because of Mbappe, that's not the case now. But with these playstyles and this rating, it's still an important and affordable card. Schlotterbeck. Same thing here. For defenders, playstyles are extremely important. I think this card will be quite cheap, so make sure to keep an eye on him early in the game. Butcher. I'll be honest. This is the left back I want to grab at the start of the game. This year, two things stand out about this card. First, it has attacking wingback plus plus, and then check out these playstyles. Relentless, Anticipate, Quick Step, Technical, Intercept, and Whipped plus. Wow. The price might be a bit high, but I doubt there's a card that will be more worth it. Kim Minjae. Last year, this card was decent, but this year his defensive stats look even better. I think he'll be very useful in early game squads. If you're looking for Bayern Munich links, he's the guy. Stanway. Last year this card had a special version that was cheap but really good. Once again, she has the holding role with plus plus. What does this mean? Players with this trait will naturally stay in front of your defence and control the midfield. You could think of her as a budget Kante. Coco. This is going to be just a little cheaper than free. With a 75 rating, this card won't be expensive at all. With 85 pace and Italian links, this could be a great option if you don't have much to spend or need a budget squad. San Just look at that pace. With playstyles like Aerial, Quick Step and Intercept, this card will be valuable. Plus it can also play as a right back. I think this card will be useful for a good while early in the game. Bah, any Portuguese league fans here? This card is for you. He has solid play styles and strong passing and crossing stats. Plus, he's going to be one of the cheaper options. Alright guys, I believe these players will be incredibly useful. But what do you think? Which card do you think will surprisingly dominate this year's game? Or is there a player you'd like me to review? Let's talk about it in the comments. And before you go, don't forget to like the video. See you soon.